Hey guys. Hey y'all. <laughs> it's a beautiful day out here on Lake Hartwell today down at Sadler's Creek State Park in South Carolina. That's my boat coming in right now. Finally got my boat in the water. So I want to go over my tent with you guys. The brand new tent that is. So I'm going to turn this around right here. Hung some lights up between the uh, trees out here. Uh, haven't set up my picnic table yet. I will do that tomorrow. But here's our tent right here. Little uh, mat outside. I've got my drinks outside. I've got another heater just in case, which will probably be in there. I've hung the garbage can, dog leash, and I'm trying to get this tent in here. I don't know if I can. There's actually some people down here with the same tent, which is very interesting. I love it to see this tent. Um, like my last video. So I'm going to try not to leave anything out. We do have this little space out here. And I wasn't able to put a rug out here. But I liked it. The blue rug I normally keep outside. Um, but I didn't have enough room. This is a huge tent. And the sites here are quite smaller than they are at private car campgrounds. So um, it's just really beautiful right now. So let's go in the tent. Ready? So... Here is my first room. I don't have any windows open because it's freezing cold down here. Well, actually it's not, it's in the 60s, but I'm trying to keep everything warm. Here is my kitchen setup. Under there I have my cups, water. This is my container for the food. Everything I need. Um, as well as my air fryer because it's supposed to rain. So, I'm not going to forget that. My kitchen sink and my drying rack. And I do have a plastic rug as well underneath all this to catch anything. And I'll, I can put a towel under there if any water gets under there. I have a hand washing station outside of the tent on the picnic table. So, um, over here on the other side, I have a table with a tablecloth. Um, just some things up there. Underneath, I have my food storage, and I try to make sure it stays cold in here um, in the front. Um, I also have a couple of totes here with things in it that I need, and there's my refrigerator, my little refrigerator. Yeah, that's what that is. Um, there's LED lights that came with the tent that go across the front and through the whole center of the cabin tent. This area up front and the kitchen can be closed off at night, which is exactly what I'm going to do because I want to keep my heat inside the tent. So, this in the front, first room, um, as I said, is, I hope I get all this, is totally kitchen food and drinks and storage stuff we need. So, um, let's go back into the tent. I've got the sea door open. It's a sea door. I've learned what it's called. Um, that we close off at night, but I won't be doing that. So let's open it up. This is another thing I worried about. I worried about the fact we have mesh ceilings. We've always had great tents with cotton ceilings. Um, and they were really good. So I was really afraid about keeping the heat in here. As well as the air conditioning in the summer. Because I do have an air conditioning as well. South Carolina gets awful hot. Um... So we're looking at some low 50s this week and some highs in the 70s. So our boat is here and we will be out on the water. Okay, so let's step into the second room. Second room right here. I've set up two chairs, haven't opened them up. We've got two heaters going, one here, one there. Um, over here, this is my living room. This is my sofa. It's my sofa. There's a crate right there with a container of other things that I might need. Over here, there's, look, at there's flannels hung up. Isn't that nice? i got a hanging closet. Put the flannels up. This is the third room. Plenty of room down there to put storage stuff. And let's go over to the fourth room. This is my bedroom. I've got all my towels right here for the week. My boat um, bag. I call it my boat bag. And my bed over here. 
even have me a cute little dream catcher because I love those. Um, and here's my bed. It's a queen size air mattress. So I was actually able to put my bedside table. I love this thing. It's from Walmart and it doesn't even cost more than $20. And you set it up. I got my iPad on here unless I want to put the iPad on the table and watch Netflix and put everything in there. And over here I have my closet where I hung up my clothes because yes, I am a fan of Brittany. Um, so this is my bedroom over on this side and I will take you to see the bathroom. Again, I don't have windows open simply because it's it's cold outside and I do have a tent going, but all right, I'm sorry, a heater going and it's doing really well. So, let's go in the bathroom. I didn't put up any dividers. This tent came with two dividers. It always also came with a projector screen to put up against a window if you wanted to watch movies. I didn't put any of that up. Um, I don't need it. I don't need any space dividers. So, in here is the bathroom. You know, I don't have a shower completely set up, but I did bring rugs, and I did bring a commode. And there's the hanging basket with all the toilet paper and the wipes and the Febreze and everything you need. And right now, I just kind of kind of shut up, um, just trying to keep it, make it really warm for tonight, um, especially drop pretty low. So, this is where it's going. This is the tent, guys. Look, this is our setup. The kitchen in the front, refrigerator, stove over there. Now, you need to make sure, let me remind you, I did go through the Fireman's Academy. Make sure all of this stuff is really well vented before you do anything in the front of your tent. You need to open everything up as much as possible even if you need to take your coleman outside i'm not really comfortable cooking on the gas propane coleman inside the tent i would rather do it outside the tent simply i don't know i just there's something about it um but other than that everything appears to be good so couch again full living room oh let me tell you about the carpet so the carpet was actually bought from Lowe's and cut right in my front yard to fit this tent. So even though it's an ugly ass brown, it's still a a carpet and it's actually softer than the carpets I had before. They had this stuff on sale for like um, 12 cents a square inch, square whatever, square foot, square foot, that's what it was. So it was on clearance. So covers the tent, maybe brown, but that's cool. All right, well, I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter. We're out here for the next five days, and I plan on making the most of it. Have a great week, everybody, and I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll take you out on the boat and show you the beautiful water tomorrow. Have a good night.